Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to check some of the prices, check the shelves, and some of the things you guys have asked about. Let's get to it. Good to see a couple decent sales as soon as we come into Walmart. Um, they got the Halos, the five pound bag for $6.62. Uh, we've been seeing these for $7.49, $7.99, pretty much everywhere else. So, really good deal. We get a lot of comments on these, so I wanted to point it out. So, we were here about a week and a half ago. I gotta say, the tomatoes were full. Now they are empty. Pretty much completely empty. They have a few here. Uh, the ones we saw at Meyer looked a lot better. $1.98 a pound, too, here seems a little extreme. So, I did a quick look over of the produce. Doesn't seem like a lot of the prices have gone up in produce. We were just here a week and a half ago, but we've been getting a lot of comments on Walmarts across the country going really up in price over the last few weeks. Uh, we heard in Tennessee a lot of them have shot up lately and a lot of them down in Texas. So I wanted to get here, check some of the things out, see if we see any new price increases, check the shelves uh, because of the current shortage situation. I want to make sure they're still getting stuff in. So we do notice that the waffles, we've gotten a lot of comments on Eggos lately and not being able to find them. We have seen a lot at Kroger, but I did want to point out that they are starting to sell out of the great value ones that a lot of people have been looking for. And they are low on the Eggo. We didn't really cover a lot of the frozen stuff the last time we were here. So we're just going to look at some things, see if we, think, see if we see anything out of the ordinary. However, I will say... That Eggos a couple months ago was a problem too, so nothing really out of the ordinary for this. I kind of expected this to go out again, but we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Did want to show that they have all these great value canned vegetables for 54 cents. 54 cents a can, that's a great deal. We are becoming less and less picky with the prices going through the roof. Now this Walmart doesn't usually carry a ton of bread. I will say that this price has gone up on the Nature's Own here. It is $3.18. That is up from $2.99. Um, now we've gotten a lot of comments on the wheat bread and how we're expecting there's going to be a shortage here. This probably isn't going to happen. We ain't going to start noticing the shortage on wheat bread probably for a little while, a uh, couple months I'm thinking, but I really don't know, but we will keep an eye on it all. They do have plenty of the great value wheat bread. Uh, 93 cents a loaf. It's pretty cheap. Did notice that they have the Rallies fries back in. Checkers Rallies, whichever part of the country. It's the same company. Um, $3.12 here. We saw that they were $3.79 a bag at Kroger. So way cheaper uh, here at Walmart. Glad to see they got them back in. They also have the Arby's fries down here for $3.12. Oh, these are pretty good. Usually if they don't have the rallies ones, you know, this is a good substitute. I will say that a lot of their products, though, are missing. But they are starting to get some of their crinkle fries back in. Some of their tater tots. Gotten a lot of comments on frozen potato products. Uh, we saw they had some at Kroger, too. But this was near empty last week when I was here. So good to see they got some of these back in. I did notice that the five-pound bags of the Golden... Crinkle fries of Orida have gone up from $5.99 to $6.28. So that's a, another price increase. So we've gotten some comments on the Hot Pockets. Now they've been this price for a little while. They did go up from $10.98 to $11.98, but it's been a little over a month. But the good thing is that they're starting to get them back in. That's about a dollar a Hot Pocket. We've gotten a lot of comments on these, so just wanted to point it out. Another price increase are these single chimichangas. They used to be a dollar, now they're a dollar twenty-two. That's a pretty big, uh, pretty big price increase there. They do still have the Tina's burritos here for fifty cents. So those have been those that price for as long as I can remember. Look through some of the frozen chicken here. You know, as you guys can see, it's it's pretty wiped out. A couple bags of chicken nuggets that is up from five ninety-nine. Um, it's been a little while, but they are still $5.99 for the two pound chicken nuggets at Kroger. So a little cheaper there actually. But yes, as you can see here, they are very low. They do have some of their great value chicken back in, which is good to see. These are some of the wings. Never tried these before. Um, $9 for 22 ounces. I don't know, I feel like this has gone up too, but they haven't had it in. So I have, I have really nothing to compare it to. 
Um, they do have the Buffalo style too. Uh, we've got some good comments on these. I remember back a few weeks ago, a little over a month ago, people were asking about them and we just couldn't find them anywhere. We do see that CPAC has gone. I wonder if everything that was $5.99 here went up to $6.42 because we saw that the chicken nuggets went up to $6.42. They were $5.99. These are $5.99 at Kroger, the CPAC. Um, and they have the different ones, the smaller portions, some of the bigger ones, uh, the big count, the jumbo shrimp, $9.48. Um, and these are up too. These were $8.99 not that long ago. I was walking past the toilet paper aisle here, and I noticed that this 12 mega roll of Angel Soft, I pointed this out a couple weeks ago for somebody, and it was $7.99. Now it is $9.98. This is something that we're going to have to keep an eye on because we've been noticing toilet paper kind of going through the roof lately. Um, and they have different prices on it. And they're getting a lot in, so that's good too. Um, but yeah, prices have definitely gone up. This was $9.99 for this great value 12 pack mega rolls. Now it is $10.84. So we are seeing some significant price increases on toilet paper, and we've noticed this at Kroger a lot. So, one thing I will say is that six of the mega rolls at Kroger of Charmin is $9.99. It is $7.54 here, so a little cheaper on this. Um, I don't normally look too much at Charmin because it's not what we get and we don't get too many comments on it but we've noticed that this is the one that's been shooting up in price lately. Kind of surprised to see that Angel Soft go up like that. Um, not really surprised just unfortunate. So I kind of jumped out of the grocery section for a minute because it was very packed, very crowded so kind of wanted to get away and let them do their thing. Check out some other things that you guys have asked about like these Ziploc freezer bags. Um, not sure what the prices were here before. Just kind of show some of them. I know across the country, um, a lot of people have been saying that uh, it's been very short. So just showing that Walmart does have a good amount. Actually, they have a ton of them. Another issue has been aluminum foil. I will say it does seem like they have plenty here but we've gotten a lot of comments across the country that it's been very low. I would check Walmart. We've seen it low at like Kroger. Target was fairly low. Um, Meyer seems like they're usually pretty good on it, but yeah, Walmart is definitely a place to check. Uh, 150 square feet for $8.60 sounds a little much, but everything's going up. So we do see that they have paper plates and napkins and stuff like that, but this has been another issue that we've been hearing across the country. I will say that they are a little pricey. I mean, this is 100 plates for $10.38. Um, well, I don't know. The ones that I usually get uh, are at Aldi. They're $4.79 for 50. So yeah, I would expect that to be a little cheaper at Walmart. Some of these though, this is 100 plates for $12.98. I don't know what these ones were for $17, but sheesh. They must be good, they're sold out. One thing I will say about the cat food is that they do have a lot more of the bigger packs. And you can save, you know, a couple dollars if you buy it this way. However, a lot of the single packs, a lot of the singles are still very low, very low. Um, they do have some fancy feast down here, but all the friskies is, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Again, I will say for those of you just coming to the channel, or if you haven't, seen a lot of cat food or pet food dog food in your stores check out chewy.com uh, it seems to be the place to go we have a lot of viewers that do their online orders with chewy um, and apparently after 49 dollars you get free shipping so that's something to think about uh, if you can't find pet food in the stores so i remember a few weeks ago we did have some issues with the dog food the wet food but it does look ever since then that they have got them back in um, and they never really carry a ton, but they do have a lot. There's some missing here, but, um, not, don't know too much on the prices. We don't, we haven't been checking out dog food as much as cat food because there's always been plenty. As I was walking by here, I did realize that Lance crackers went up. These were $2.49 a box. Now they're $2.78. It's quite a price hike. We'll say that this particular Walmart does seem to always have a good amount of milk. Uh, they do have the vitamin D and $1.89, $1.94 for the 2%, so a little 
a little more, which is funny because they used to always be the same price. I know milk is very cheap here in Cincinnati, Ohio, compared to around the country. And the only thing I could say, you know, we're close to a lot of dairy farmers, so that could be why it's so cheap. They do have some of these silk. More and more people must be buying this stuff up because it's harder and harder to find, and we get a lot of comments on it. They do have the silk almond milk, $2.98. Um, they have, that's pretty much it as far as the almond milk, I guess. Yeah, we got it pretty good here with the eggs. I'm not going to lie. 95 cents for 12 large eggs. Um, 18 of them is $1.40. Their orange juice is a lot smaller area here than I've seen it. And it seems like they keep bringing it further and further down. This is all they have. Now, we've gotten comments on orange juice around the country being very low. They're disguising this very well because, as we can see, the cottage cheese and sour cream has been pushed over here. And the juices Minute Maid, the Simply juices that were usually down there, are over here. And they are really spreading it out. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, that's crazy. Now, we've seen orange juice a lot of places, you know. This is the lowest I've seen it, honestly. Um, one thing, the Simply Orange is only $3.78 here, which is a pretty good price. It's $4.19 at Kroger. Again, we showed this last week, but a pretty amazing deal on the biscuits. They must, I don't know, they got some kind of contract worked out with Pillsbury, I guess. But $2 a can for the Pillsbury Grands, um, they're two fifty nine dollars at Kroger so a lot cheaper here plus they do have the great value which we've never tried we got some good comments on it though $1.52 uh, for basically the same thing but is it the same thing let me know down below if you've tried the great value Grand's biscuits let me know if they're better than Pillsbury do they taste the same we do love Aldi's biscuits um, in my opinion they taste a little more natural like if you'd have made them yourself. The one good deal I wanted to point out is they have two pound bags of cheese for $2.77. Now we see that the regular price at Kroger is $2.59 for an eight ounce bag. So you're getting double for like 20 more cents. Now Kroger's did have a sale on it this week. That sale may be over tonight though, so I'm not really sure, but it was two, three of them for $6 for the eight ounces, but two seventy seven dollars regular price for a two pound of cheese. We've had this cheese a lot. It is really good. So we do notice that the Oscar Mayer 16 ounce packs, the one pound packs have gone up. They were $5.99 not that long ago. So we do see that the 16 ounce family packs one pound of Oscar Mayer meats have gone up to $6.57. That is up from $5.99. That is crazy. We get Hillshire Farm and Cons. These are up to $6.52. These were also $5.99 not that long ago, up 50 cents. But I would definitely buy this over Oscar Mayer, much better tasting. Um, but yeah, everything's going up. And they do still have the smaller ones for $4. As we've seen, that's pretty much been the price everywhere, nine ounces for $4, uh, places are $3.99, so a penny more. And we see that the Queen City sausage has gone up to $5.98, $5.98. These were $4.99, which was up from $3.99 just a few months ago. So within a few months time, it has gone up from $4 to $6. They're good, but they're not that good. Even cons hot dogs which is pretty local around here um they're up to 334 these were 299 forever um we used to get the bun size franks they were the same price which they still are they're just both three dollars and 34 cents now uh i will say the johnsonville brats though at metz four dollars and 12 cents that is a great deal because these are 5.99 at kroger sometimes you can find them for 5.49 or 4.99 on sale but yeah Good deal on these, bad deal on these. It does look like Walmart is pretty loaded down on bacon. However, I will say that prices have gone up on these too. The great value uh, thick sliced bacon was $3.99 not that long ago, up to $4.32. Um, they had Black Label, this is one of my favorite kinds. They had this for $5.99 for the longest time, and then it went up to $6.49 and now it's $6.98. But 
we've been seeing a lot of other places even higher on it. I've seen it as high as $8.99. And with all bacon, you do have to check one, expiration dates. I check expiration dates on everything and I recommend that you do too. Uh, you do have to kind of check, like obviously this one looks way better than this one. So about the cheapest place that we can find Mott's apple juice anymore is Walmart, $2.88. We have seen this as high as $3.89, which is ridiculous. Usually hovers around $3 or a little more. Um, but yeah, Walmart is definitely the place to get it anymore. And I gotta say, they definitely have a lot more juices than we've seen here in a while. We have been having trouble getting juice around the city. Not so much as of late, but for a while there, I would say a good couple few weeks, we couldn't find any. I mean, it was like empty everywhere we went. And you guys have uh, talked about all across the country that you've had trouble as well. Hopefully they're all starting to come back in now. I always feel like Walmart is a little high on coffee anyway, but I gotta see at first glance here, I'm seeing some decent deals compared to what we've seen lately. Uh, they have the Mick Cafe 30 ounce coffee for $11.98. We've seen that at Kroger for $14.99. They have the Maxwell House that we saw for $8.49 for $7.48 here, same size container. Um, they all, yeah, they have the bigger ones down there too for $8.98. So I don't know if Kroger's sale's gonna carry over for another week. Sometimes they do that, but $8.48 for Folgers here is gonna probably be the better regular price. We've seen that Folgers has kind of been skyrocketing lately still expensive and it still is up from $7.99 which was their regular price just a few weeks ago so uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that definitely the cafe Bastillo which we've had a few uh, people ask about this is definitely the cheapest place to get it $13.98 uh, it's the cheapest I've seen my coffee creamer value size has really shot up lately uh, it used to be $4.99 here and then it went up to $5.99 and that was like a week maybe two weeks ago but here we're seeing another product that's gone from 5.99 to 6.42 so i'm wondering you know we start seeing these magic numbers like 42 cents so it would be 43 cents if it was 5.99 but yeah pretty much everything we've seen for 5.99 has gone up to 6.42 that's interesting they do have v8 here for three dollars and 78 cents we have seen this well above four dollars lately and i gotta say that's just way too much I feel like three. I feel like this should be three forty nine, two ninety nine, three forty nine. I don't know, but three seventy eight is pretty much the lowest we found it. They also have some of the V eight splashes in which some people have asked about two dollars and twenty eight cents. Cereal has just gone through the roof pretty much everywhere we go. We saw that just a couple weeks ago. This mega size of Frosted Flakes was four ninety nine. Now it's five twenty three. Five twenty three. That's a twenty three cent price hike. Uh, the mega size of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, $5.48. This was also $4.99. The bars have gone up too um, from, well, they were $3.09. I remember they were $3.09 like a couple months ago. Before that, they were $2.99, but now they're up to $3.23. We've also seen a lot of things that were $2.99 here go up $0.24. Cents. That's why this is $3.23. Um, yeah, you know, it's crazy. Every, everything, everything seems like it's going up. Uh, Funny, these were $1.29 for a while. Like, it's been a while, but now we see they went up to $1.43. I will say, I really expected to see a lot more hams around town here. Uh, we've had some comments about trying people trying to find Easter stuff. Uh, yams, canned yams seems to be a big one. One thing I'm seeing is that we don't have many turkey, or uh, many hams. Um, $2.28, <laughs> hams and yams. Yeah, people have been looking for canned yams. Um, I don't know. That was something that was hard to find during Christmas time, too. But the prices on these seem a little much for it being so close to Easter. This one here is $1.98 a pound, $2.54 a pound, $2.28 a pound. And um, obviously, they're going to be a lot lower on Tyson with everything going on right now. I won't explain, but, you know, there's been some issues with the chicken lately, so... We're expecting to see this a lot lower. Usually Walmart has like all their hams and stuff like in these big cabinets. And it's pretty much like this at all Walmarts I've noticed. They do have some turkeys, like a couple honeysuckle turkeys. $1.88 a pound, $10.40 for these little butterball turkey breasts. But yeah, not seeing any other hams other than the ones over here. 
Okay, so I want to show you guys something interesting here. The pork, they have moved the pork further over here. Is this all the hamburger that they're going to be getting in? Because this extended past this, like almost double of these rows here, was all hamburger before. And this was just last week. Now, we see that the hamburger has gone up immensely. They have the 80 20 here. This was $33 and something a couple weeks ago. Now it's $36.94 for 10 pounds. $33.12 for the 73% uh, lean. But this was 28 something, 27 something a couple weeks ago. So I don't know. This is a pretty small section for hamburger for a Walmart. They've really kind of just scattered things out, put some other things here where the steaks are. I don't think a lot of people are buying it. I really don't because I always see kind of the same things when I come in here anymore. Like they throw more ribs over here, porks over there, which they seem to have enough pork to go around. But like these steaks, I mean, they're, they're so expensive anymore. You know, it's like, I don't know if they're even selling them. I'm kind of curious to see if they are. Uh, looks like ten forty-seven a pound for these T-bones. Thirty-two dollars for those. You know, it's it's just getting so expensive. People just can't afford it. As I was coming over here to the canned vegetables, I wanted to show they do have the Bruce's canned yams here, two dollars and sixty-seven cents for a giant can, or a dollar ninety-eight for a smaller can. I would get the bigger can, and whatever you don't use, just put away, use it for something else. So Del Monte vegetables have gone up here at Walmart. They are $1.32, but we've seen they're $1.50 at Kroger. We have seen some sales going on, four for five dollars lately, but $1.50 a can, we're becoming less and less picky. We've been getting them at Sam's Club though. They've been $6.50 for eight cans for a while. And we saw that the peas, the can of Del Monte peas, which we really like, also went down 50 cents at Sam's Club. So. Uh, they're all the same, $6.48 at Sam's Club, but $1.32 here, it's, you know, I mean, that's a lot. And we had saw where they had gone up to $1.8, they were $1.18 for a while, and now they've shot up, you know, $1.32. It's crazy. Um, one nice thing is, and you don't really see much here, but they work their great value vegetables in, $0.54 cents a can. And uh, that's an amazing deal. That's about the same or cheaper than Aldi. So great value, you know, if you like their brand. You know, we're becoming less and less picky. And uh, a lot of viewers that we have on the channel are too. And this is the reason why. It's why they're not selling any. They're not selling any Del Monte anymore because it's too expensive. So we see here they've dropped the great value to a lower level. And they're selling like crazy. Something that a lot of people have been talking about. Cooking oil. Not being able to find any. We saw it very low at Kroger. Now we're seeing it pretty low here at Walmart again, too. Which, you know, we saw a couple months ago that it was wiped out. Everybody was looking for it. Uh, hopefully we don't run into that again. But Walmart does have some. One of the things we will be checking on is flour and sugar here in the videos. Because of events that have been going on, we want to make sure that we're able to get these products. Especially, you know, for making things at home or for whatever you need it for. Uh, $2.12 for four pounds of sugar, pretty good deal. Um, they have for $5.27, you can get 10 pounds, so it's pretty good. They do have the four pound bags of Domino sugar for $2.78. That's a pretty good deal. We haven't seen any Domino sugar for less than $3 anywhere. I will say Walmart does have plenty of flour and their gold medal here, which is, I believe, where we got it the last time. Five pound bag for $2.98, that's a pretty good deal. Five pound bag of the great value is $1.96, so a dollar cheaper. Honestly, I mean, we've always used gold metal, and for a dollar more, I would rather just go with what I know. But, and we know that that's good flour. Um, but yes, as things get higher priced, we are becoming less and less picky. So these little small ones here for 90, 94 cents, if you don't need it for much, but I would just buy it up while we can and, uh, yeah, okay, you got a 10-pound uh, thing here for $3. That's a really good deal. Again, spices are an issue. Um, it's It's been, you know, like I said, Meyer seems to be the best place to find your spices. Um, they do have, like, those little 
uh, things where, you know, they dump a bunch of spices in a middle rack. Um, but it's pretty much everything that they have right here anyway. It's just in a big container and you got to search for it. I always just come over here. If it was something I needed, I may search a little bit. But good to see that they have the McCormick pepper and salt grinders back in here. Um, and they are a little more. These were $1.98. It's been a little while. They went up a while back. But I just wanted to point that out. At least they're getting them back in. Because that's been the uh, the big thing. And they do seem like they're a little low on salt. Uh, we saw Myers was low on salt. But they had just gotten a load the other day when we were there. So maybe uh, maybe Walmart's just got a packet on the shelf. I don't really know. But you guys can see here. I mean, yes, there are a good amount of spices. But way lower than it's ever been. Pasta continues to get wiped out here at Walmart. They've condensed the section. We talked about this the other week. But the spaghetti used to go all the way down there. Now they just have this small section of it because they haven't been able to get any in. I don't blame them. They want to pack the shelves with things that they're getting in. So I completely understand that. They do have some of the great value spaghetti, 92 cents. You know, everything's gone up a little bit, but that's still a pretty good price. What really isn't an issue at Walmart is the ramen noodles, though. At least at this Walmart, they always seem to have a good amount of ramen um, they don't have a lot of the six packs that carry the six single packs in it. Don't see a lot of those like they usually have, but it looks like they might have filled this section up with cups, right? The cupped form. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I do see some of the creamy chicken up there though. And again, they still have the Progresso for $1.98 a can and the Campbell's Chunky Soups for $1.98 a can. Um, you know, it's... Sometimes we'll be able to find a sale on these, but it doesn't look like we're going to find one for a while. So this is probably going to be the cheapest we see it for a while. Um, $2.49 a can at Kroger for Progresso, $2.59 a can at Kroger for the Campbell's Chunky. So cheaper than Kroger. We do notice that the Nor pasta sides are $1.26. Um, they've gone up. They've gone up everywhere, though. The most expensive, I think, has been Meyer for $1.35. Um, Kroger's, you know, is $1.25 a bag now. Now, here's a funny one. The Idahoan potatoes here are $1.12, right? So they were a dollar not that long ago. Went up to $1.12, but we've been seeing that they've been $1.25 pretty much everywhere. So seems to be the cheapest at Walmart. But by me saying the cheapest... They're still having some massive price increases here at Walmart. So we need to keep that in mind that the prices here are still going up. Some things are more than other stores. Some things are a lot less. That's just, this is why we have to go to multiple stores these days to try and get the sales. Like if I was going to buy Idaho and potatoes, well, then I would come here and probably buy, you know, 10 of them because they're way cheaper and I'll save a couple dollars. So surprisingly, we still have Chef Boyardee still under a dollar here at Walmart. We've been getting a lot of comments on it um, since it's gone up to a dollar twenty-five, dollar seventeen a can here for SpaghettiOs, which is actually really good because it's a dollar forty-nine a can at Kroger now, and we always get a lot of comments on both these. So I just wanted to point that out. Cheapest place to get it that I've seen. Glad to see that they have some of their mixed vegetables back in. We saw uh, about a week or two ago that it was pretty much completely wiped out. We didn't see any of the mixed vegetables. Only a dollar a bag here still, so that's pretty good. And a lot of comments on the bird's eye products. Uh, somebody had asked about the bird's eye mixed vegetables. Now this was a dollar not that long ago. Then we know it went up to, I, I believe it was like a dollar fifteen, and now it's a dollar twenty-three. Uh, and it, it's been a couple months, but dollar twenty-three is definitely. Um, and it, you know the steam fresh, the sweet corn. Somebody else asked about dollar twenty-three for that. Um, good to see that they have some in though. We've seen that it's been very low uh, pretty much everywhere we go. So um, they do have some of the green giant ones, but these are expensive. The green giant ones always seem like they're pretty expensive. I would never pay. That's funny because they're one of the cheapest canned vegetables to get now, but the frozen ones are crazy priced. Well, that was our trip to Walmart. Um, you know, prices are going up. There's no denying that. Prices seem to just be skyrocketing everywhere. I'm not surprised at all to see more price increases at Walmart here. Uh, still some things that are better deals than a lot of the other stores. But I will say 
that they've got a good amount of stuff in, but we're noticing that they are shortening some things like the meat, some of the canned goods, the pasta, all the things that people buy up a lot. They're getting shorter and shorter. We are gonna have to keep an eye out for a lot of the wheat products, flour, uh, things that we're gonna need at home. You know, we know that things, you know, are kind of in motion now to where we're gonna have to start thinking about this in the future. But as for right now, it's not very low. Here in a couple months, here in a month, two months, I don't really know, but we're gonna keep our eye out and we're gonna let you guys know about everything so that we can kind of keep you informed as much as we can. So I thank you so much for joining me today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.